how to show different banner images for mobile and desktop on shopify step by step hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can set two different banner images for your shopify store on your mobile and desktop devices so number one if you go into your online store go into themes and then go into customize now this will open up the dashboard the shopify homepage, and then on the left you have your original banner image and then you can click on select image and let's say i want to choose yeah, this as my second banner image now if you add two banner images it displays them like this but how can you actually add two banner images where the images are going to be different on your mobile app so you will see on the left on the mobile version it says if you want to change the alignment of item stack the images or show this container on mobile however it doesn't give you the option to be able to display one image only on the desktop devices and the other image only on mobile devices so how can you do that well i'll show you guys how step by step i'm going to break it down as simply as possible so each one of you can follow along now to get started you have to go and i'll show you guys what my store currently looks like this is what the store looks like right now now what i'm going to do is i'm going to head on over to my shopify dashboard in your shopify dashboard make a duplicate or a copy simply by clicking on these three dots and clicking on duplicate the reason why i tell you guys to do this is because it avoids any unnecessary mistakes so it's, it's better to be safe than to be sorry because if you end up making a mistake you always have the duplicated version where you can go on ahead and go back to and restart your progress from there but after you've done that click on these three dots and click on edit code now, once you click on edit code, you want to go into this section in assets. And I just prefer to search for the things that I'm looking for instead of having to browse through. So just search for section slash or dash image dash banner. So once you search for section dash image dash banner, you will have this be highlighted in the assets folder. So once you click on this in the assets folder, this code will pop up. You're just going to click on this over here. And once you've opened up this code, what you're going to do is you are going to scroll to the bottom. Now, once you have scrolled to the bottom of this particular code, you're going to copy this code from paste bin. So we're going to copy this code and make sure if you copy the code like this, it's not going to work make sure to copy each individual dot because a lot of people copy it like this okay even if you copy like this and you forgot to add this dot and these two brackets it's not going to work so make sure to do that so i'm going to copy this entire code make sure you've copied every single item and then you're going to go back into your shopify dashboard and then in our opened up customizable code start from a new line so after the last bracket of your code you're going to go into the new line and then you're going to do a right click and paste your code now once you have pasted this code you're going to click on save on the top right now once you've clicked on save you're going to exit over here and now once we've done that we are going to click on customize in our shopify store now once we click on customize in our shopify store and even before we do that just by adding this code you will see that the image will be altered so now you can click on the image banner and the first image will be the image that will be displayed on the desktop devices and the second image will be the image that will be displayed on mobile devices Below that, you have the option for the banner height as well as the desktop content position. Below that, you also have the content alignment. Then you have any animations that you might want to insert. And then after that, you can choose to stack images, but that doesn't matter because our image has been changed. So just like that, our image banner is now customized on desktop and on mobile devices. But you might say, how do I know if this has been applied to my mobile device? So I'll actually show you guys my mobile device right now. So I'll display my mobile screen over here. 
that this is my mobile device this is my shopify store as you guys can see this is the same store this is the same link if i just click on go i'll go into the link again so you guys can see this is our banner on our desktop so the desktop banner is the second image is the first image i'm sorry i cut a little tongue tied over there but the desktop image is the first image that i inserted and in the you know mobile image is the second image that you inserted this is highly customizable and can be customized to your personal preference so if you want to change image sizes as well with this you can go ahead and go into the code section and once you're in the code you can go back into the bottom and then you have the width so you have the width of the banner media if you want you can actually increase the banner width that is being used so the first width which is going to be over here this is the one that is going to be for desktops so this is our current banner width if i want to make it cropped from the sides let's say i want this to be 80 percent if i click on 80 percent if i replace that and then i go into refresh this will you know give you an empty section like this and then if you want to alter the paddings you can also do that so you will see a media screen option with the maximum width and then on the second option you have the banner media plus media 100 percent and then the banner content padding before so if you want you can go on ahead and edit the padding that is present as well so if i want i can also reduce the image sizes on the mobile versions like this and then if i add the maximum width or paddings before the images let's say i want to remove those as well and you can play around with the banner image sizes depending on how you want to structure your banner images now these are just some really easy and fun to do customizations that you can do on your shopify store if you want to customize your Shopify store further, I have a few tutorials on customizing your header, customizing meta fields and more. So you can check those out as well. And just as a quick sneak peek, if you want to maybe change product image sizes in the product pages, you can go ahead and open your code. And once you go into edit code, just search for section dash product or section dash main dash product. And once you do that, go into command F and then search for wrapper and then the scroll and go into this product wrapper over here. And then you can just change the image size from here. I can make the image size to be 100. And now my product images are actually going to be taking over in the product pages. So you guys can see in this way, you can, you know, customize product image sizes and more with Shopify. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. And even if there is anything else you'd like to learn or if there's something that I missed out on, make sure to leave that in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.